Well, my vision is that the Global Renewable Energy Atlas will serve as a one-stop shop for reliable information on renewable energy resources and the potential for renewable energy development, and that this information will be backed by peer reviews, uncertainty assessments, and benchmarking studies since the contributors will likely come from different sources around the world. My vision for the Global Renewable Energy Atlas, that is, that it shall serve as a platform to bring together knowledge and expertise from different sources and organizations. And I expect from the Atlas that it offers the chance to open doors which were closed in the past, the doors towards efficiently developing renewable energies. That the Global Renewable Energy Atlas initiative is one of the most important initiatives that are led by Rena. And in fact, uh, having free access to this uh, sort of data for, uh, for solar and wind and other renewables in the future would help uh, the international community and the national uh, community also to benefit a lot from this. Global uh, Renewable Energy Atlas is a very exciting project because we can uh, compare and see what is available in all of the world in terms of uh, resources. But nowadays we are lacking. We are always uh, looking for information and it is very difficult. So I think that this project to compile everything in one in one uh, one site is uh, can be a very interesting uh, experience for all of us. The global showcase for renewable energy, where big and small, develop and developing countries can share and obtain. I think the key one is traceable quality check renewable energy data, which they can use for policy feasibility studies and, and, and investment decisions. And I think the key thing here is traceable quality uh, data that's available to everybody. Well, I expect that the major impact of the initiative will be to inform governments and project developers about the potential for renewable energy development in countries that currently have limited plans to exploit this sector. The existence of this type of information can help stimulate favorable renewable energy policy development and national targets. In addition, for those countries and regions where resources have already been assessed, the existence of a centralized updated data source backed by peer reviews and uncertainty estimates will serve to reduce the time required to evaluate potential sites for project development and to reduce the upfront costs of project planning. I see a lot of value added from uh, the uh, Global Renewable Energy Atlas. Uh, and that this is uh, reflects to everything, starting from uh, strategy development, uh, action plans, uh, site selection for future projects, uh, brief feasibility analysis necessary for projects, also for uh, simple uh, users for in households that can take decisions, simple decisions based on for solar water heaters, for example, for photovoltaic modules over the roofs, and so I see a lot of importance for such uh, uh, initiative, which is really important for the entire world. Obviously, we, we want to get investment, global investment, um, interest in renewable energy. And I think a lot of initiative has come and go. But the thing is, as I said, now we have a platform. Everybody knows the rules, the standards, and, 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 and how we provide the data, how we use the data. So. I would say the key thing is it, it, it should stimulate the interest, worldwide interest in renewable energy, because obviously companies who ever invested, they can make use of this now and they, and they know where the data is coming from. In the region of where I'm working in West Africa, there is uh, almost no studies or resources available in terms of potential of renewable. So this type of uh, work will provide us always a first set of information to assess the potential in some regions of the in some areas of the region, so this this uh, project will complement our work as a regional institution. Uh, in various levels, first of all, the solar project developers will use it uh, in one level. On the other hand, uh, different uh, stakeholders like the governments and and the policymakers, they will also use the the appropriate information on solar resource. Uh, for framing their policies, uh, which is evident, uh, which will come up very shortly in many countries. In some of the countries, it's already on. And I've seen how the availability of this information supports the growth and maturity of the industry. The Global Renewable Energy Atlas, that is a good way to explore and promote renewable power. 
we we are a private company and we contribute with the global wind atlas because we wish to share our knowledge about wind power assessment. My hope is it to advance usage of wind power not only in the rich countries, but everywhere where electric power is needed. Africa, we are busy what we call the Wind Atlas for South Africa project. And the, the main sponsor, or you can say this initiative of, of the government of South Africa, is basically uh, well looking at the wind energy to get a better idea of what's the practical potential of our wind energy in South Africa. And the way that we're doing it is what we call the research and capacity building project. So um, we want to make and encourage and, and, and help our uh, national institutions to get that capacity to actually do the work and take it further on regionally. Um, from our side, um, we've gone quite far in and, and, and developing the whole theory, how you do it, um, the issue of meso micro scale modeling, we have data sets, um, um, GIS format data sets, and that's, that's all available. We actually make this public available. That was one of the key criteria, so it's all available. And uh, we are at the moment busy sharing it also globally through the through the global atlas, and and I think that's that's the good thing. We we have a medium now here where we can freely share this data, and we can also invite uh, comments on it, and that that's that's important for us because it helps to bring South Africa into the international picture of investment, and also the international get an idea what's going on in South Africa. We have a public mandate to provide uh, knowledge and data on the renewables uh, in the region. So as, a, as we are a public institution, our information is uh, free and transparent and should be uh, also shared with all the community. This project allows us to share and this also will be a contribution in the global uh, initiative from what's happening. This maybe was the previous question, but uh, we expect also uh, we expect also from the Global Atlas to obtain uh, all the available results and data from the region in the world uh, potential. In GIZ, uh, which is a German state-owned organization for development cooperation in other countries. So I am supporting government of India's solar resource assessment program and which is called SRRA or solar resource radiation assessment and that we um, help government of India for analysis of data and data quality control and product generation. So in any way, we are already in the process of uh, helping government of India in India specific solar resource assessment. And India is a signatory country of Global Atlas Initiative. So in that way, I am actually contributing to this uh, Global Atlas Initiative anyway.